Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people from all over the world, this is the G Money Podcast. We are here and we are live. We are in the studio. Today, I would like to talk about mental health, specifically directed towards men. You know, I've, for a long time, I have felt that I'm not good enough and that I'm one step short of being who I want to be and achieving the things that I want to achieve. And every day I set out to overcome that and I always find that I fall short. And then I start to think to myself that I'm getting in my own way and that I'm falling short because of me and that if I can just change me, I will then be able to achieve the goals that I set out for myself. And that's a tough pill to swallow. And if anybody out there experiences that, it's something that is constantly sitting in your mind. Anything that you do, there's that little part of you that says, don't forget about your deficiencies. And it just almost reminds yourself that you're not good enough and that something is inherently wrong with you. And that thought process manifests itself in your life every day and everything you do. And it's interesting because it appears that men aren't supposed to talk about this. But it's something I'd imagine that a lot of us feel. But we bury it down and we keep it in a secret little compartment in the back of our head that nobody knows about except ourselves and we tell a story to ourselves that no matter what we do we or I will always be here to tear it down in the end And I've been trying to change this about myself for a long time. That one inch of getting better, that one, that one part about me that if I can just eliminate or change, then I'll be a millionaire. I'll be happy. I'll be smarter than everybody. And it's okay. And I'm learning that. That the deficiencies that we have within us that have been there since birth are okay. And I am really struggling to accept that. Because I like to be in control. And I feel like I have control and that I have control of changing those deficiencies. But I've been working at it for a long time. I've tried everything and I'm sure that a lot of men can relate to this. If you feel unworthy, it's almost like everything that you do in life subconsciously is to just try and make yourself feel worthy. Dude, now that I think about it, like, the books that I read or the things that I do, I just do to either distract myself of the sadness 
of being unworthy or to change that about myself. And it's just disappointing because I know a lot of men out there feel this. And I'm with you. I'm with you. You you feel like you got to be strong and you have to be a man. And you have to be an alpha. And you say to yourself, I'm going to start doing alpha things and be strong. But that little compartment back there of all of your weaknesses doesn't go away. Even when I think about being an alpha, that little storybook in the back of my head reminds me of my weaknesses. And I'm starting to think that it's okay. That everything that I am or everything that you are fits into the puzzle perfectly. So if it fits perfectly, then why are we trying to change it? I don't know. And I don't want to sound like I have the answers because I don't have the answers. This is a learning process for me. And I'm just talking about it right now because I know that there is some men out there that can relate and are hesitant to bring it to light because it doesn't align with being an alpha male. But I believe that being an alpha male is just living out those things that are natural to you. Instead of trying to fake being an alpha, which is a term that I call being a falfa, a fake alpha, I feel like being an alpha is just accepting everything that you are, your strengths and your weaknesses, and living them out instead of trying to fake something that you're not. And I wish it was that easy. You know, I wish that revelation can just change everything. But I think this is a moment-to-moment process. And that it's not always going to be great and it's not always going to be bad. And some days you're going to feel like you're an alpha. And some days you're going to feel like you're weak. But I think it's necessary to just accept both days and understand it all fits in perfectly. So if this is something that you relate to, you know, I don't know, like this or let me know or don't do any of that, but just know that you are not alone in this. And I'm right there with you. I am at war with myself every day. And I like to call a truce. Strong G and weak G, let's come together. Let's negotiate and let's sort this out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got to go. I'm getting a phone call. See you later.